Astronomy Events in September 2021 September is an exciting time for astronomy enthusiasts. With the celestial events taking place this month, many people will be able to enjoy the wonders of space. Let's have a look at them in chronological order. Origid Meteor Shower 2021 The Origid Meteor Shower will be active from 28 August to 5 September, producing its peak rate of meteors around 1 September. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing Origid meteors whenever the shower's radiant point in the constellation Origa is above the horizon, with the number of visible meteors increasing the higher the radiant point is in the sky. Mercury at Aphelion Mercury's 88-day orbit around the Sun will carry it to its furthest point to the Sun, its Aphelion, at a distance of 0.47 astronomical unit. Oh, unlike most of the planets, which follow almost exactly circular orbits around the Sun, only varying in their distance from the Sun by a few percent, Mercury has a significantly elliptical orbit. Its distance from the Sun varies between 0.3070 at perihelion, closest approach to the Sun, and 0.4670 at aphelion, furthest recess from the Sun. This variation, of over 50%, means that its surface receives over twice as much energy from the Sun at perihelion as compared to aphelion. Conjunction of the Moon and Mercury the Moon and Mercury will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing 6 deg 31 to the north of Mercury. The Moon will be 1 days old. The pair will become visible around 1901, ist, 13 deg above your western horizon, as dusk fades to darkness. They will then sink towards the horizon, setting 1 hour and 13 minutes after the Sun at 2002. The Moon will be at mag minus 9.3 and Mercury at mag 0.0 both in the constellation Virgo. September E. Perseid Meteor Shower 2021 The September E. Perseid Meteor Shower will be active from 5 September to 21 September, producing its peak rate of meteors around 9 September. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing September E. Perseid Meteors whenever the shower's radiant point in the constellation Perseus is above the horizon, with the number of visible meteors increasing the higher the radiant point is in the sky. Conjunction of the Moon and Venus The Moon and Venus will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing 4 deg 04 to the north of Venus. The Moon will be 3 days old. At around the same time, the two objects will also make a close approach, technically called an pulse. The pair will become visible around 1900 hours 24 deg above your southwestern horizon, as dusk fades to darkness. They will then sink towards the horizon setting 2 hours and 6 minutes after the Sun at 2054. The Moon will be at mag minus 10.4 and Venus at mag minus 4.1, both in the constellation Virgo. The Moon at Perigee The Moon will reach the closest point along its orbit to the Earth and will appear slightly larger than at other times. The Moon's distance from the Earth varies because its orbit is not perfectly circular. It is slightly oval-shaped, tracing out a path called an ellipse. As the Moon traverses this elliptical path around the Earth each month, its distance varies by 14%, between 356,500 km at perigee, closest approach to the Earth, and 406,700 km at apogee, furthest from the Earth. Mercury at highest altitude in evening sky Mercury will reach its highest point in the sky in its August to October 2021 evening apparition, it will be shining brightly at mag 0.1. This apparition will not be one of the most prominent and tricky to observe, reaching a peak altitude of 16 deg above the horizon at sunset on 7 September 2021. Mercury at greatest elongation east. Mercury will reach its greatest separation from the sun in its August to October 2021 evening apparition. It will be shining brightly at mag 0.1. This apparition will not be one of the most prominent and tricky to observe, reaching a peak altitude of 16 deg above the horizon at sunset on 7 September 2021. Neptune at Opposition Neptune will reach opposition when it lies opposite to the sun in the sky. Lying in the constellation Aquarius, it will be visible for much of the night, reaching its highest point in the sky around midnight local time. It will reach its highest point in the sky at 038, 66 deg above your southern horizon. It will become inaccessible around 4.57 when it sinks below 21 deg above your western horizon.
conjunction of the Moon and Saturn. The Moon and Saturn will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing 3 deg 4 to 5 to the south of Saturn. The Moon will be 10 days old. At around the same time, the two objects will also make a close approach, technically called an pulse. The Moon will be at mag minus 12.5 and Saturn at mag 0.2, both in the constellation Capricornus. Conjunction of the Moon and Jupiter The Moon and Jupiter will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing 3 deg 57 to the south of Jupiter. The Moon will be 11 days old. The Moon and Jupiter will pass very close to each other in the sky. The Moon will be at mag minus 12.6 and Jupiter at mag minus 2.8, both in the constellation Capricornus. Full Moon The Moon will reach full phase. At this time of the month, it is visible for much of the night, rising at around dusk and setting at around dawn. The sequence of full moons that fall through the year are sometimes assigned names such as the Harvest Moon, according to the months and seasons in which they fall. This practice has been popularized in recent decades by the Farmer's Almanac in the United States. September Equinox The September Equinox marks the first day of autumn for anybody living in the Northern Hemisphere, and the first day of spring for anybody living in the Southern Hemisphere. On the day of the Equinox, everywhere on Earth has almost exactly 12 hours of day and night, as the Sun's annual journey through the constellations of the zodiac carries it across the celestial equator. The word equinox is derived from the Latin words equus, equal, and nox, night. Wherever you live on Earth, on the day of the equinox the Sun will rise from the point on the horizon which lies due east and set beneath the point which lies due west. Close Approach of the Moon and Uranus The Moon and Uranus will make a close approach, passing within one deg 14 of each other. The moon will be 17 days old. The pair will be visible in the morning sky, becoming accessible around 2127, when they reach an altitude of 7 deg above your eastern horizon. They will then reach their highest point in the sky at 314, 86 deg above your southern horizon. They will be lost at dawn twilight around 613, 47 deg above your western horizon. The moon will be at mag minus 12.4, and Uranus will be at mag 5.7. Both objects will lie in the constellation Aries.